Hey house kiss, welcome to today's BBK9 updates and spoilers. Our house kiss of the day are Ayana and Deanna Parker. Thank you both so much for the support. We could not do this without you and we appreciate it so, so much. So thank you again. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. It's only a dollar for a holla. We have much to discuss today. Oh my god. <laughs> when we left off yesterday, Kiefer and Tina up on the block. Kiefer was the target. Uh, he felt like it was certain that he was going. He wasn't even doing any campaigning. He was kind of just like moping around and all in shock that uh, his closest allies did this to him. But even though he wasn't campaigning, he was spilling lots of information to Brayden and Tara like um, his involvement in the Sunsetters with the trio. He did not throw Tina under the bus though. He didn't include her in that alliance when he was spilling about it. But it really seemed like he was accepting that he was going and he was just trying to unify Tina and Tara with Brayden to go after the trio next week. But, um, it's going down. <laughs> oh my god. So it's time for the throuple to get flippy floppy because Kiefer has decided, yes, he will be campaigning. <sighs> so he was talking to Jed in the HOH room and just when you hear that he's talking to Jed, you know... Things are about to get crazy because Jed is just going to go along with the last person to talk to him. So Jed says to Kiefer, you know, I had to make this move because I feel like I can't beat you. Um, honestly, yeah, I feel like Kiefer would beat anybody in the final two at this point. But Kiefer was like, oh, well, I'm, I'm so hurt by it. Like, I've done so much for you guys. Like, it's killing me that this is happening now. Like, it would be totally different if we were down to the final four and then one of you guys cut me. But there's still, like, three other people left that are not in our alliance. So, Kiefer is trying to put doubt in Jed's head about Ty and Beth. He says, all right, let's go through some, some scenarios here. If, um, if you and Beth are up on the block next week, and Ty wins the power of veto. Would Ty use the power of veto on you? And Jed's like, well, I think he would use it, but, like, I don't know which of us he would use it on. Um, so Kiefer says, well, not everything is as it seems. If I'm out of here, you're going to be the biggest target left, so you're going to have to win everything to get to the end. No one is going to want to bring you to the final two. Kiefer says, I would take you to the final two, guaranteed. Um, I'm not sure if Ty or Beth would take you. So then he's asking, what's best for your game? You need to think about that. Um, so Kiefer's saying, I would cut Tina and Tara in a heartbeat for you guys. And he's got this whole thing that he's always saying, like, to be the best, you gotta beat the best. I am so sick of this phrase. <laughs> like, he said it so many times this week, and it's so annoying. Um, so Kiefer swears on his family and his kids that he would take Jed to the final two and he says like in future weeks like I would even use the POV on you if you're up on the block. So Jed's like whoa I gotta consider all this you know we haven't really discussed what would happen once we got to the final four. We've always just said final four and then we duke it out. So like this is this is interesting this is changing things for Jed. So Kiefer is continuing to push that he wants Final four with the trio, but then he breaks it down even more. Final three with Jed and Beth, so he would cut Ty if it was up to him. And then, of course, he's saying, like, I would take you, Jed, to the final two. Even after all of this, even after Jed put him up on the block, um, the sad thing is, I think Kiefer's telling the truth. It's just like when Victoria was campaigning. I think Kiefer is telling the truth. He wants to continue working with them. Are you kidding me? Um, but he says if he won HOH next week, he would put Tara and Brayden up on the block. I can't. So Kiefer um, brings up the conversation that he had earlier with Beth, and he says, mm, I felt a lot like Beth was trying to do jury management with me, and it wasn't sitting well. Um, she told me that she felt like you and Ty made a mistake by putting me up on the block because she knew like it wouldn't be good for your games and she was like asking me what she could do to help me stay like it felt really weird and 
Jed is saying like, oh, you only need two votes to stay this week because I would feel comfortable breaking the tie for you. And um, Kiefer's still saying like, I don't know how this move would be good for you. It just, it doesn't make sense to get rid of me. So Jed says, again, like, I thought that you would try to take me out. I didn't know what your plans were once we got to the final four. So Jed's like, you know, if I took out Tina this week, it wouldn't be as big of a move, but it would still be good for my game. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So there was more talk about the same stuff over and over again. And Jed was saying that he hopes if Kiefer does stay this week that they can move past this and just focus on the end game. You know, all that sweet stuff Kiefer was saying about taking Jed to the final two. So Jed tells him this is not set in stone yet. You know, sometimes mistakes are made. They got to figure out what's going to happen this week. So after Kiefer's talking to the cameras in the Defender bedroom, and he's like, let's go, baby. You were going to quit? Why? Don't give up. You're not out yet, Keith. Fight. And he says, you can take Jed to the final two and beat him. Sunsetters forever, baby. Why? Like, why are these people so willing to stick with the trio after they've been betrayed by them? It's so insane to me. Um, I'm pretty sure this is mostly, like, an ego thing for Kiefer because he wants to beat the best. Um, to be the best, you gotta beat the best. So, he's really stuck on that, but it's just, like, so frustrating to watch. So, yeah, Tara and Kiefer chat, and she's like, oh, how'd your conversation go with Jed? And Kiefer says, it was okay. Um, I still feel like I'm going home, you know, nothing has really changed. He knows that's not true, but he doesn't want to alert Tara that things could be changing because that would mean that Tina's going and Tara would not be happy about that. So Kiefer mentions, Jed did say though that he felt like he made a mistake, but it's too late now. Like either me or Tina are going to go. So Kiefer says, the only way I can stay this week is if I don't go for Jed, um, which doesn't sit well with me. Are you kidding me? That's, that's great for Kiefer. He's obsessed with that. So he said, I don't think Jed believes that I won't target him. And Kiefer says, if I stay and I win HOH next week, I'm going to have to put you and Brayden up on the block. Oh my god! I can't believe Tara didn't freak out on him when he said that. Um, but then Kiefer's like, oh, I'd rather leave than be put in that position where I'd have to put up you and Brayden. I feel like that's a lie. <laughs> Kiefer definitely wants to stay, if possible. So then he was talking about how he's always envisioned himself in the final two with Jed um, because he wanted to play with the best and beat the best. Tara must be fuming inside hearing this. Oh my god. So meanwhile, Jed and Beth are in the HOH room and Jed is talking about Kiefer's pitch and Jed's like, if Kiefer's here, he wouldn't put us up on the block. He swore on his kids. And he says, I actually do believe him because we're going to be all he has moving forward. Who's he going to work with? Tara and Brayden? No. So Jed says he wants me and you in the final three. I was just assuming that he would target me, but he wants the two of us there. He would target Ty once we get to that final four. So Jed says, if you look at Tina and Tara, they are a tight duo and they will never go after each other, which means they'd have to go after one of us. So hearing all this, Beth is just sitting there like, like I don't think she wants this flip, um, but she's going along with it for now. So they try to figure out like, how would we even sell this to Ty? Because part of Kiefer's pitch is that when they get down to the final four, he wants to cut Ty. So they're like, well, we can just talk to Ty about breaking up the duo, Tina and Tara, and we don't need to like mention that other stuff. Ooh. So Beth says she wants to go to the end with Jed, but if somebody else takes Jed out, um, she can't just like screw herself over. Like she feels like Tara and Brayden are really good for her game moving forward. She doesn't want this to just be her being carried to the end by Jed and Kiefer, because then, like, what's she gonna tell the jury, you know? So, she's saying, I can't just be playing your game. It was, like, 
really awkward <laughs> during this part of the conversation. But she says it's getting to a point where you and I have different, um, like, advantages in the game that we can work with here. So Jed says... Okay, so ultimately, um, Kiefer going is better for your game? Yes. <laughs> um, Beth doesn't really give, like, a clear or direct answer to that. But Jed says he's taking Beth to the final two no matter what. Beth did not really return that statement. Um, I, I don't think Beth knows what she would do at this point. I think she's really nervous that if she took Jed to the end, Jed would beat her. And then she would feel like a jerk, um, or like an idiot. But, yeah, she would also feel really bad if she cut him at the end. So, I don't think she knows what she would do at this point. But Jed continues to push that they're going to be safer moving forward with Kiefer than they would with Tina and Tara. And then Beth's like, well, what, what will we tell Brayden? And she says he's pretty ignorant about the whole situation with Kiefer because he thinks that Kiefer is just a floater. He doesn't know anything about how much we've been working with Kiefer this whole time. Um, Kiefer told Brayden about the Sunsetters, but she doesn't know that yet. So Jed says, well, also to close that up. So they're just planning on telling Brayden, um, we're going to try and break up the duo, Tina and Tara. That's more pressing at this moment. So Jed says... He got caught up in wanting to make a big move this week, and taking out Kiefer is just not good for them. He says he's not too prideful uh, that he would have to follow through on taking Kiefer out. He's fine with flipping this back so that Kiefer stays. Um, he says putting up Kiefer and keeping him could end up being a bigger move than just getting rid of him, especially if he helps us down the line. Yeah. Yeah. And then what happens if you end up in the final two with Kiefer? You will lose to him! <laughs> this, this is so dumb. Um, this is so dumb for Jed. Because, like, Kiefer is already set up right now that he would be anybody in the final two. But if he has this on his resume as well, that he flipped this vote, he's gonna beat you so bad. Um... Yeah, but Jed is also like, whoa, Kiefer would also be a shield in front of us. Like, people are going to go for him before they try to take a shot at us. So Beth is going along with it for now. Um, I still feel like she's not super into this, but she doesn't want to push too hard. She says to Jed, I want it to be your HOH. So they're doing their, like, showman's thing, and Jed is thanking her for having an open mind. He's like, I'm just trying to figure out how to get us both to the final two. And he says... I think I love you to Beth and she's like what and he's like I think I love you and she doesn't say it back it's so awkward what's more awkward when somebody says they want to go to the final two with you and you don't say it back or they say I love you and you don't say it back anyway um while they were talking Kiefer was pitching to Ty and it was pretty much the same stuff that he was saying to Jed without all of like final two stuff um so he was saying like I never target you guys sunsetters to final four and then we duke it out blah 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 and Ty is saying yeah getting rid of you just doesn't sit well with me and Kiefer's like I don't think I'd cut you at the final four that's not what he said to Jed <laughs> um but he tells Ty all about his conversation with Beth you know how it felt like jury management and all that and basically implied that like he would go for Beth once they got down to four um but Kiefer's like cut me at final four not now um you know moving forward if I stay it'll be four versus two instead of three versus three so Ty is agreeing with all this so then Jed Beth and Ty it's a real meeting of the minds in the HOH room so they are discussing Kiefer's pitch they're discussing the vote and they're like you know what if we get rid of Tina We'll be breaking up a duo in Tina and Tara and a trio, pre-90s with Kiefer, at the same time. Ty says, sounds like a big move to me. Oh my god. So they are confident that Kiefer would still be loyal to them. And again, like, I think he would be too, which is so stupid, but I think he would be too. And Judd says, I never said that Kiefer was my target. So, you know, he just assumed that. Um, so that should help us out. And they say, you know, they agree that Tina hasn't done anything for them, and she never will. 
which, yeah, that's pretty much true as well. <laughs> um, so then Jed and Ty agree they're down to not only keep Kiefer, but to go to the final four with him and battle it out. They feel like he'll be beatable in those final competitions, and if not, they say that they would rather lose to him than any of the other people that are left. I don't think Beth is into this. She still does not seem super into this, um, but she's still going along with it. They plan to tell Brayden that they want to split up the duo. Now, is Brayden going to tell them about Kiefer spilling so much information to him? And also, if he does tell them about that, is it going to matter? Or are they just going to be like, whatever, it's out in the open now, but like we've got the numbers, so who cares? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But Tara was chatting with Tina in the backyard, and Tara says, unfortunately, I believe that Kiefer would stay loyal to the trio if he stays. And she says she's going to be so disappointed if Kiefer just, like, runs and tells them everything they've been saying about the trio. So Tara says, if Kiefer pulls this off and stays and I win HOH, I'm putting Kiefer up with Jed. And she's already got her speech planned out. She's going to be like, apparently, you two think that you're the only ones who can win this game, so go ahead and duke it out. Oh, dang! Okay, like, that would actually be really entertaining, so... I wouldn't be mad at Terra HOH. But anyway, they're getting really annoyed with the trio constantly flip-flopping and they don't think it's right um, the way that they handle this week after week where it's just like everybody knows that they're having all these conversations and it's just going back and forth. So Tara was chatting with Kiefer a little later and Kiefer says he doesn't think that there's a chance that they would actually keep him like they're having all these conversations but what is the chance of them actually flipping this vote for him to stay which again is a lie because Kiefer's feeling pretty good at this point but Tara says if they do change their minds don't be effing loyal to those effers <laughs> and Kiefer's like I'd have to be loyal to them oh my god Tara says no you say what you need to say in the moment but nothing is written in blood in this house. You need to play your game for you. And Kiefer's like, yeah, well, I think I can beat them. If they keep me this week, I'm going to win this game. <laughs> he says, surviving a backdoor, this is not a backdoor, um, adds a huge thing to my resume. But I mean, like, he's right. It's just obnoxious that he's saying this out loud to Tara. I mean, he got put up on the block this week in part because he's just said so openly to so many people, like, I'm gonna win this game. I'm gonna win this whole thing. And now he's back to saying it already. Um, so yeah. But again, it would be a huge move on his resume if he could overcome this vote and stay this week. So then the feeds went down all night. They had a party. It sounds like it was some sort of a reward for a task that they they completed. Um, so that's that. And then today, Kiefer continues campaigning to the trio. And guess what? It's working. The trio is still saying that they want to keep Kiefer. This is not like some Victoria situation where it was like back and forth and every time they would talk to Victoria, then they were like, we want to keep her. And then they would talk themselves out of it. No. Right now, they are still saying they want to keep Kiefer. So I'm just wondering, like, does Ty not realize how bad this move is for him specifically because if it actually is the trio and Kiefer in the final four who would bring Ty to the end besides himself and maybe Beth maybe Beth Ty um he's gonna have to win out in order to win I feel like so Ty is saying that he would rather lose than let one of the floaters like Tina Tara or Braden get money Okay, then, you made your choice. Um, but they all agree in the trio, like, no one deserves it besides us or Kiefer. <sighs> okay. Um, so then, today, Kiefer's, like, celebrating. He's talking to the cameras about how he's going to be the greatest BB player of all time. Because they've basically told him, like, we are going to keep you. Um, I gotta say, like, this flip would be a huge deal humongous for him to flip this vote however it is super lame 
<laughs> if Kiefer pulls this off and then stays loyal to the trio, I guess you could make the argument that he does that and then, like, if he still beats them anyway, like, wow, what a great player, but, like, terrible to watch. Absolutely terrible. So, yeah. You may be wondering, what's Tina doing throughout all this? Not much. I mean, she knows that everybody's talking about this vote now. She knows that that's happening, and she's not doing a ton to counteract it. She had a quick chat with Ty. She told him, you have a much better chance to win going up against me, which is true. Um, she says, if I win HOH, I wouldn't put you up. And Ty's like, yeah, but I'm concerned that you're so close with Tara. Like, you would never put her up. And Tina's all, never say never. <laughs> Um, she's claiming that she would put Tara up on the block if necessary. No freaking way. Um, this campaign is not really doing anything. It's not swaying Ty. It's lukewarm. So, then the feeds went down this afternoon for some, like, TikTok-related stuff. They were watching TikToks from some of their house guests that have already been evicted. And when the feeds came back, um, there was this conversation between Tina and Tara. And apparently... Beth gave Tina the heads up that she's going at some point while the feeds were down. And Tina says, it is what it is. Oh my god, at least try, Tina! Are you kidding? So, Tina and Tara go outside for a smoke. They're like, oh, it's our last dart together. And they're talking about how Tara cannot trust Kiefer moving forward. You know, he's made it very clear that he will be staying loyal to the trio if he stays. He's going to run right back to them. So then Beth comes outside to chat, and she's trying to blame this on Ty and Jed. She's like, they decided without me. They basically, like, took my vote away. I mean, I would agree, like, Beth did not want this vote to flip. I don't think she did. But she's not exactly innocent here. Um, she's doing some jury management. So... She says, Kiefer offered a lot moving forward, and I don't think that you could offer me the same things. And Tina's like, no, I don't think I can. It is what it is. <sighs> what are you at? What? <laughs> um, so then Tina says, I definitely think it's the wrong move based on my conversations that I've had with Kiefer, but I guess you'll find that out. Oof. And um, she says, I believe it's going to be a steamroll now. It makes no sense for your game specifically, Beth, to keep Kiefer. She says, I don't see you going in the end if Kiefer's still in the game. Um, but I do think that you can go very far if he's not here and you're going up against me. So Tina's also like, and what kind of move is this for Jensen to get me out? Right? <laughs> um, but Tina keeps saying like how tough it's going to be for Beth if Kiefer stays this week. And... She's saying, like, Kiefer knows all of his information, like, he's gonna beast it out in those memory competitions, and Beth is like, well, I'm more physical than Kiefer, and I know my stuff up and down as well. So, Tina's like, yeah, but Kiefer is gonna take the guys to the end, Ty and Jed. And Beth is like, well, Kiefer's offering me some really good stuff. And Tina's like, okay, but <laughs> if you're saying, if, if Kiefer's saying to you, that he will take you to the end, I can tell you from what he's told me, he's not. He's not going to do that. So then Beth asks Tara to leave so that her and Tina can talk alone. And Beth says, I don't think that Kiefer's going to take the boys to the end. He's going to take me because he knows that Ty and Jed will take each other. So he's going to take me to the end. And Tina's like, no. <laughs> Tina says, that Kiefer is all about, like, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Um, so he is going to take whoever he thinks is the next best person behind him to the final two. And Beth is like, well, that's kind of offensive to me. Just because Bet, uh, just because Jed, Ben, just because Jed is the biggest, strongest man in the house, that doesn't make him the best. Um, she says, I've done so much more, and I think that Kiefer sees that. Okay, what? No. <laughs> so yeah, I think maybe Beth has done more strategically than Jed, but like she's got so many people telling her that is not the perception of the jury. So why is she not 
like doing something about that to make sure she doesn't end up in this situation. But also, you're gonna expect Kiefer to see all these moves that you've made? No way. Kiefer is obsessed with Jed. As obsessed as Kiefer is with Rohan in a negative way, he's equally obsessed with Jed in a positive way. He's told Jed multiple times that he wants his son to grow up and be like Jed. But she thinks that Kiefer will see her as the best player and take her to the end. And Tina's just like, no. <laughs> she says, I'm looking at this from a jury standpoint. Um, yeah. So she says, if you keep me around, I can take out one of the guys for you. I can make this easier for you. And she says, I'd be shocked if Kiefer made that move. So it's really going to benefit you to keep me. So Beth said she'll let uh, Tina know what's going to happen with the vote, but I don't know. Is Beth going to do anything with this? I just don't know. I mean, I, I, I predict more waffling tonight. I think there's definitely going to be more waffling, but in the end, I honestly can't tell you which way they're going to go with the vote right now. It, they're still definitely on board for Tina to go and to keep Kiefer, but the season's crazy, so who knows what could happen. But yeah, um, as of right now, Tina is going. Whoa, this is wild. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know if anyone at any point is going to share all of the information that Kiefer spilled to them, but I also don't know that that would have any impact on the vote. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. It's a lot to digest. Um, but until tomorrow, much love.